Hey guys, Sav here. Uh, today we're in the Desert Highlands for some map completion tips and tricks. Uh, as you can see, I've done about 31% of it already. However, that's mainly just going around and me getting hero challenges and, you know, running into some things along the way. Uh, I haven't done any of the hearts at all yet. Um, I only have six points of interest and in all but one of the waypoints. Uh, 11 vistas. Uh, not exactly sure what I'm going to go over. I feel like this map is fairly straightforward, but um, I will probably show you guys how to get into this bottom area down here, how to get up into this area, so forth and so on. It's it's going to be a lot of minor things, I think, for this video. Again, I don't find Desert Highlands to be over like I don't find anything in particular to be overly challenging about Desert Highlands. Uh, but if I see something, I will make sure to include it. We'll recap at the end of the video. All right, here we go. All right, so I just oh, let's get the grass out of my view there. All right, so I just finished my second heart here, um, and this is taking forever. I'm not gonna lie. One one of the major issues I'm having right now is these hearts take forever, especially this ogre one in particular. Uh, second thing is I'm trying like hell to learn this weaver rotation, and I'd like to do it in open world maps. You know, I basically force myself to do the rotation, so I do it really slow when I work on it over time. This weaver rotation is ridiculous. That's all I'm gonna say. I know I'm supposed to have Fire Greatsword too, but I figured the Fire Greatsword rotation is pretty simple. I don't really need to practice that, so I figured the Glove of Elementals is better for open world. However, the Weaver rotation is really, really silly. So I'm taking my time trying to learn that, and then of course these hearts just take forever too. So anyway, uh, so we finished the first two hearts. This Ogre heart again just takes forever. Uh, let's see what else there is to do. All right, one thing I'll show you guys real quick is this vista over here. Uh, just to give you an idea, we're right near the Tomb of Primeval Kings. It's a vista right to the left of that. Um, there's also the Watchtower way, uh, Point of Interest. Uh, the first time I map completed this map, I actually just jumped up with the Springer. You can jump up to here with the Springer. And then you can kind of finagle your way up this mess over here and get up there. However, the much, much easier way to do that is this portal over here for the with the Jackal. Uh, just take the jackal right on into that portal. I had the wrong glider on. I guess it doesn't matter. Which he doesn't want to go in. There it goes. And you can see it takes us right next to this mastery point. Uh, the point of interest would have went off by 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 now. I like I'd gotten already, and then I realized, hey, I should probably show this on the video. And then the vista's over here. Moving on. Alright, so a lot of people sometimes get confused on how to get up here to Fortune's Vale into the snow section of the map. So I'm going to show you guys real quick. I'm near, I'm near the uh, High Jump Ranch waypoint. I'm not exactly there, but I would hit waypoint there. And you head, uh, you head west from there. I'll come down from here to make it. Obviously, if you climb up there with a griffin and just fly, it makes it a whole lot easier. But I'll show you the ground perspective. You can see we head over into like this like dead end here. And you should have the Springer by now. You just obviously just jump your way up. If I don't die. So all I have to say after that video cut is fuck Harpies. Fuck all Harpies. They all fucking suck. Anyway. Let's get our Springer. And we're moving. We're just gonna head... You know, start jumping up these cliffs with the Springer. And hopefully I don't get knocked off of it. You can see we're at the top, northern end of the map. Kind of just working our way around. Probably can make that jump, but I'm going to assume... I'll just assume Springer level 1, or, you know... Un, uh... Unleveled. Let me put it that way. You know, it's a higher jump than if it wasn't unleveled, but anyway. And here we are. And this opening right here will take us right into Fortune's Vale. We'll just follow this straight across. All the way to the waypoint.
It helps to have a uh, raptor or a jackal or even a griffin to get across this gap here. The uh, springer probably won't make it. And there we are. Alright, so from here, I'm going to show you guys how to get to this uh, hero challenge. Uh, just head straight south from the waypoint into this uh, dwarven mine thing area. I know this hero challenge for some people is kind of difficult to find. Uh, come across here. Now, if you have your raptor, your raptor will be just fine. You don't need the griffin for this. I just like my griffin a lot. Uh, and you're just going to jump this gap with your raptor. And don't head south yet. Wait till you get over to this doorway and then head south. Or, I'm sorry, north. Wow. Direction of challenge that way. And there he is. The hero challenge. And we'll go back to that waypoint so I can show you that guys. The point of interest is. is not inside that mine. It is above the mine. Which we probably could jump up there. But that seems awfully silly. So, we'll take the easy way. <clears throat> I really should bind my uh, mounts, but... I'm lazy and don't. Because 99% of the time I'm on my griffin. Every once in a while I swap off for basically only, mainly for the uh, springer. And here we are arriving at the point of interest. And there it is, overreach chasm. Alright, one thing in particular I wanted to show you guys. because It's going to depend on how easily you find this coming from whatever angle that you're coming from. Uh, if you're coming from, you know, climbing up this way, up the up the ledges, up to, up to here, you might find it a little bit easier. However, if you're up top, you might be hovering around and have no idea where to go. Uh, and that is going to be this point of interest right here, the Jinx Hollow point of interest. As you can see where I'm locating myself, I'm at the vista outside this Jin, um, what is it called, the Palace of Abon, in the Enchanted Bluffs. Because it's really just the easiest to get there from here. Um... Now, if you're up there, you just you want to jump down here to the vista, and then you basically want to do a 180, turn around and come back here, and just at the side of this temple here is going to be a cave, and this point of interest is inside. This Before cave. I leave, I just finished this heart. Um, where the hell is it on the map here? Where the heck did it go? Oh, right here. Yeah, I just finished this heart here. Uh, help the prickle patch hollow choya or don't. Uh, you don't have a choice. You kind of just help them. And one of the big, best, one of the easiest ways to help them, and I say that in air quotes, um, is to kill harpies. Um, and there's a whole bunch of harpies over here, kind of where I'm standing on the map right now. Um, just to, the, just over here where all these lines are, just to the uh, west. Um, they are a pain in the mother, freaking ass. <laughs> I'm trying. Try not to curse too much, but they really angered me while I was trying to do it. Now, I, I am probably the squishiest possible um, combination of anything in this game as a weaver, uh, Condi weaver for that matter. Um, th <laughs> this was difficult, man, killing these harpies. If, you, if there's not a group of people here to help you, you're probably going to die quite a few times, even, even if you're not super squishy like I was. Um, these harpies hit hard, man. Um, it was not fun, it was a pain in the butt, and just give you guys a heads up. This heart sucks. Do it once and never do it again. I know they're repeatable now, it's just not <sighs> worth repeating. Alright, that's it for map completion of the Desert Highlands. Uh, not super exciting. I only got a uh, transmutation charge. It's disappointing. And now in a freaking event, so let me get the hell out of here. 
Uh, Desert Highlands, guys, is fairly straightforward. Like I kind of mentioned at the beginning of this video. Uh, there's just not a lot of really difficult stuff to find here. Uh, if you kind of just work your way around, like I said, kind of work your way in a circle. You know, start, around, start in the Salt Flats area, do all the stuff down here, work your way north to the Auburn Hills, uh, Lifeblood Ravine. You might want to peel off and do the brand at one point. But then come circle back, head over to Stampede Uplands, and then from there go up into Fortune's Vale and then down to the south and kind of work your way in that circle. And I think you'll be fine. This map's not, again, not overly difficult. I showed you some of the maybe trickier stuff, but really not overly that tricky. Um, but I hope it helped you guys. And if it did, thanks for watching. If it didn't, thanks for watching anyway. And I'll see you guys next time uh, for the Ellen Riverlands.